Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Better Session Time tutorial on what is bandwidth. Now, the term bandwidth can have a variety of meanings, but in computers, it's basically talking about how much data can be transmitted in bits back and forth across the line. Today, it's better thought of as throughput, because throughput is the total amount, the sum of data that's delivered back and forth. Now, I found an excellent diagram of what bandwidth is. And what they're showing in the example is that if you have a pool to drain and you use a small hose, it's going to take a lot longer to drain than a big, big hose. And that's really what bandwidth boils down to. Electrons move the same speed, close to the speed of light, all the time. So what takes a web page longer on one computer than another? Well, it's because if you have a broadband connection, your internet service provider has got a wider pipeline into the internet, and so you have a wider pipeline, so your data moves through faster, back and forth. If you have a dial-up connection, you have a smaller pipeline going back and forth. It's, it basically comes down to cost because the faster your connection, the more it will cost you. There are places, and I'll put a link in the show notes, where you can do a test of your bandwidth. It measures your download speed, and then it measures your upload speed. Download speed will always be faster than upload speed. It's not possible to upload anywhere near as fast as it is to download. So here, you can see, I'm doing 43,312 kilobits per second on download speed and 1,900 kilobits per second on upload speed. So bandwidth is simply a measure of throughput, how much data can go through in a given period of time. And that's all there is to it. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.